Uh, this video is about HackerRank's uh, certificate exam, uh, the intermediate exam on problem solving. Uh, these two questions, uh, I happen to have these two questions, user-friendly password system and helpful construction, and this video is about the first one. I will leave the general discussion uh, to the end of the video. Uh, so I uploaded uh, all files on a GitHub on GitHub. So this is the first part, second part, third part, fourth part, and the last part of the question. So uh, in these uh, JPEG files, there are three sample inputs and outputs, which are again you can find on GitHub, which are given in this file. So for the first one, uh, the output should be. Uh, 1101 for the second one the output should be 011 and for the last one the output should be 00, zero. so we run the uh, first case and uh, let me talk about the github files here are the jpeg files uh, this is the original .c file that I copied from the hacker rank uh, uh, certification uh, compiler uh, these are those inputs as I mentioned and they, I use these two files to execute and this is the MATLAB file which you might uh, need uh, to work with the large numbers so if you are not experienced working with large numbers in C you will face uh, issues so I had to uh, debug by using MATLAB so Maybe you can also use, do the same. So, uh, as you know, uh, from these parts are from hacker rank, and this is the solution part. And uh, you need to uncomment this, change this to printf because you will work on a local PC. Uh, and uh, you need to change this number to the correct number uh, so if you need uh, four results such as 1101 in this case you need to write down one uh, if you need uh, three results you need to write three so let's execute this one for the first example so 1101 correct uh, Let's execute for the second. Oops, uh, so we need to change that uh, 4 to 3 because we need to get 3 results. 0, 1, 1. Uh, I guess correct. 0, 1, 1, correct. And the last result uh, needs to be 0, 0. Zero, zero. Uh, so this is a very uh, challenging problem uh, this is no way uh, an intermediate level question and when sometimes I solve a question I solve like this very long way and I find a very smart intelligent way of uh, such as they use recursive functions etc or two recursive functions they call each other it's like extremely short, extremely star, uh, smart, uh, and this code is not written optimally. And uh, sometimes, uh, for instance, here I there is a redundancy. I use a ve vector because I can see inside the watches to debug the code. Uh, later on, I assign it to a pointer. Uh, so basically, you don't need this. And for instance, uh, maybe you can define this. Uh, in the beginning but in general it's not too redundant it's kind of written in considerable as possible to work with uh, large numbers you need a long double uh, I'm just randomly uh, pointing out uh, the things that I remember I want to fully explain so the length of uh, HA is 10 because as you see uh, usually maximum 
10 digits we have and you need to make sure uh, the parts of this vector that you're not using should be zero because when you convert it to integer so uh, it won't affect uh, your integer result and this 65 to 123 is about the ASCII table uh, if you check the question it says if uh, there is an extra character uh, appended to the password uh, it should be authenticated also so from A to Z we can use the ASCII uh, numbers from 65 to 123 to so I just also calculate this, these, uh, these extra uh, things just uh, add uh, some redundancy on the for loop. So you can also optimize that if you like. Uh, and uh, the second question, I want to re uh, provide an answer for the second question because it's about the trees. and. I don't have a strong background on trees. It has a different. Uh, it is a different question type, which I'm not really used to solving it. Uh, so when there's a tree question, I just need to pass it. Uh, so I spare maybe one or two days on uh, working trees. Uh, so uh, basically, these are the things uh, I can mention briefly about uh, this question and if you have a very smart intelligent way of solving this please uh, comment below thank you